1985? Okay, hold on. You saw it? No louder. Really? You saw an octopus in the Fratellis? We'll be right down. We are looking at the new Goonies Never Say uh, game. Uh, doing a quick overview on the game. It is, uh, let me put the phone down. It is a uh, mass market uh, games coming out, I believe. I don't want to mention names, but only one retailer at the moment. It is inexpensive. It is a different game. It's uh, an adventure game with a uh, GM, Dungeon Master, and Overlord that's going to be running the adventures. I will not spoil anything. So far, there's only nine adventures. So there is a uh, expansion coming out. That adds three and the teenagers. T and the teenagers. I'm going to steal that from you. And uh, uh, the, 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 like I said, it's an adventure game you'll be going through. There's a lot of components. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's very inexpensive for what you get in the box. It is not for everybody. Uh, being a mass market game, I could already see people buying it, but never playing it because it seems like it's too much. It's not Monopoly. Uh, so far, we've gone through three. three adventures. And you like this game so far? Tell us a bit about it. You're going through the... the underground area of the Vertelli's place and you're playing out a movie you're fighting the octopus the Fratelli, one eye lily yeah so so far the we finished the movie and i guess the bulk of the game is going to be extra adventures extra lore adding to the movie which is awesome because we already know how the movie goes we've seen it a bunch of times everybody's seen it but this one adds to it. Unlike the Princess Bride game that we've played that we like, it runs through the movie. So you know how it starts, how it ends, how it goes. Uh, along the game, you will be looking for that. That's not part of the game. It's uh, one of the pieces we printed. And she likes the game. I like the game. Uh, so let's go on the table and I'm going to show you real quick how it plays out. Well, here we are at the table with the Goonies. The Never Say Die, the new game from Funko Games. Uh, we're going to do this freehand because uh, there's a lot of components here. It is a RPG type game where you're going to have a dungeon master or game master in this case that will be running the adventures. I believe there's nine of them in the initial game. Uh, we are through mission three, which ends the movie. And the rest, I'm assuming, they uh, add to the lore, the adventures, which is kind of exciting. It doesn't follow the movie where you already know what's going to happen. Go ahead and take this off the board here. This is the main map. That's where you run all your adventures. There's different rooms throughout the map. And the adventures will change. Uh, here's a sneak peek at Adventure 3. Uh, it's not much spoilers here. But you'll see that each map will be different. Like on some adventures, you might be going this way. But on other adventures... It might go this way and you might be encountering flooded rooms or you might be encountering giant rats and so on. So that's how the adventures came. That's how they keep the maps static, which is kind of nice. Uh, you will be uh, encountering the Fratellis, uh, One-Eyed Willy, uh, and uh, Giant Octopus and some other stuff. Here's some of the minis right here. Uh, they're not painted yet. I will be painting them soon. That's One-Eyed Willy. That's uh, Mikey and Sloth. And then down here you got Mouth, Data, and Junk. Like I said, there's many components to this game. That comes with it. Cards. Again, the dungeon screen. With some of the special cards. That uh, the GM will be throwing at us. The GM here, the Game Master, will be changing it up. It plays very different than, than most traditional games. Uh, let's switch over to the other side. So you'll see the other side. One side is going to be the GM. The other side is going to be the players. Here's the player side. For example, here we have set up Sloth and Mikey. Those are the ones who I played on my thir on the third adventure. And my daughter was the GM over there. So across the way, you'll see the GM board. And she'll be running, or the GM will be running the, the map, the dungeon for you. So they're all different. Uh, there's chunk right there. You acquire different uh, items throughout the game. You have the teenagers helping you, which in a future expansion will have minis with them. And we'll see how they play. There's the item and treasure deck and some legendary treasures you'll be acquiring on the game. Again, the GM will run it. It does play up to four players. So each player can play, I believe it's four. Uh, we'll play a different Goonie and then one person will be the GM. Uh, again, more tokens here, wish tokens, health tokens. Uh, 
As I mentioned earlier, it is a game that I don't think is going to do very well at Target as a mainstream game because I can already see in non-game groups like the Goonies groups, uh, we're a huge, huge Goonies fan, and most of them are already seeing that. They already find some of these hobby games very complicated. So, But for us gamers, we can get onto this real quick. So I don't see a problem with gamers. However, non-gamers will find this game very intimidating with all the components. Uh, the rule book is very simple. It's a very good rule book for how big the game is. Kind of explaining you an adventure type game. There is an adventure guide. Let me show you that real quick. In the game again, this adventure guide. Here's where all the adventures will take place real quick. You're going to see them. And then again, there's a card for One-Eyed Willy, a giant octopus, and other stuff that will pop up along the way. Again, the GM here will dictate. They have a certain different action, so they can make rooms flooded. They can add animals, uh, foes. They can, you know, the Pratellis will move around. They can change the, the dungeon around. They'll add secret passages, and so on. So that's the game in short. I will not do a run-through of the game. Uh, we thought about doing a gameplay, but it might spoil some stuff. And uh, we tend to always screw rules up and uh, the internet's very, they're not forgiving. So that's the game. There is a better video out there on how the game plays from uh, Dan, uh, Dan the Game Boy Geek. And uh, he explains it very well. Uh, back on top. Well, that was the game. Uh, I showed you real quick again. Dan King, the Game Boy Geek, has a, a great video at the moment on how the game plays and everything. So please check that out. Uh, I'll try to put a link below. Uh, I like it. You like it so far? Yeah, it's uh, many of these games don't hit. Uh, this one has hit. And uh, tell us a bit. Why do you like it? Because you can play as Jung, Data, Mikey. You, you get to mess with the players. Yep. And uh, do you get to yell, Hey, you guys! No. No, because she's the GM. I've been playing slots, so I get to yell that out. And she's been the mastermind throwing all this stuff at us and moving all the foes and everything. Uh, so it is a hit here. Uh, any gamers out there, if you're watching this video, you're obviously a gamer. Uh, do look at this game. If you're a Goonies fan, uh, it's a no-brainer. Uh, pick it up real quick. Uh, it is tricky, so just look around, pre-order, however you got to do it. Uh, get your hands on this game. It's very inexpensive. Again, Goonies, never say die. Take care.